right here, right? These are going to be yes or no answers. Okay? Did you lie about having autism, yes or no? Yes or no? It's a simple answer. It's yes or no. It's a three or a two-letter answer. Yes. Here are my honest opinions on Ken Carson's new album, AGC. A Great Chaos. Where the fuck my black? Where the fuck my cut? Where the fuck my red? That's why you're not kids. Today I'm going to be talking about a TikToker by the name of Trucker Skittles. Trucker is primarily known for having autism and for frequently going live on TikTok, where people would send him quite expensive gifts to show support. At first, this sounds great, TikTok helping a man with autism, but... A few days ago, Trucker ended up being exposed for lying about having autism entirely. Did you lie about having autism, yes or no? Yes. So all those people thought they were donating money to a good cause, but it turns out they were just being scammed. And as you could imagine, those people were very angry at Trucker. Among those people that donated were other horrible people like J-Hop, who was also involved with Big Ol' Texan, which is someone I already made a video on. But J-Hop ended up speaking out about the situation and for some reason decided to act all nice and actually forgive Trucker for what he's done on live. I forgive you. Whatever you're going through, you're going to get through it. Um... But yeah, what you did was like, damn, you, hey, but hey, you fooled the shit out of a lot of people, though, man. You fooled the shit out of a lot of different people, bro, that we really had your back, dog. Um, damn. Just, I forgive you, dog, and I hope everyone else follows that same route. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, keep your chat off. Don't read that shit. You know, we all make mistakes, and uh, we'll, we'll be nice, guys. I'm not sure if this was just J-Hop trying to be involved in the drama or if he was being serious, which I hope he wasn't. But like I said, J-Hop is a pretty horrible person himself, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was all a clout move by him. There was also another guy involved in this drama named Gordo because for whatever reason, Trucker sent like 10 grand worth of lions to him with the money he got from scamming. It doesn't make sense to me why he would do this though because he still has another 25k he scammed people out of. Gordo was also one of the people to speak out about Trucker. His whole response was him pretty much trying to justify what Trucker did. The app, get off the app, but, but everybody else does it. Tell me how that makes sense. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine, you know, being at a low point in your life and needing to make money and there's an opportunity on Facebook? I mean, on TikTok. I mean, I got a million followers on Facebook. Shut the fuck up. But like, um, you know, being on TikTok and like knowing you can go make some money, man. I, I told somebody the other day, shit, if I was fucked up, man, and I needed some money, shit, to be a rush. <laughs> I'll do whatever I can to take care of my family. I don't give a fuck. Hell, you can put me out in them. I'll make me a handicap parking sticker. Shit, I'll get on there and try to make me some damn money. I don't give a fuck. The last person that spoke out about Trucker that I want to talk about is Jag, who has an actual physical condition. And what he did was show Trucker that he actually has to live with this condition, unlike Trucker, who faked it all. Let me, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. Ready? Hold on. This, this is a physical condition. This. I have scars to prove it. I have everything to prove it. I live with this. I've been through this. I've had 17 surgeries, bro. Like, I need you to know this, this right here. This. Me. This is a condition. And you know what? You don't see me on here every day saying, what was me CP this? What was me CP that? I get up every day and I kick CP's ass. Because I don't want pity. I don't want money. I don't want anything. I want to spread awareness and show people that no matter what you go through in life, you can kick his ass. I honestly find it amazing that Jag spoke out and I hope Trucker feels like a shitty person. But moving on, another thing I want to talk about real quick is that Trucker didn't think faking autism was enough. So at the time, he was also lying about having a brain tumor. 
This is another major reason why people were donating thousands of dollars to him. It's already crazy to fake autism, but lying about having a brain tumor at the same time is insane. Trucker even claimed that he went to the doctors and they said if he got the surgery to remove the brain tumor, he wouldn't remember anybody. My, if, I, if a doctor told me that if I had the brain tumor removed, I wouldn't be able to remember anybody or be able to motor function, so I tell them no. The person who originally exposed Trucker, which I've already showed a clip of, got him to admit that the tumor is fake, which is why everyone knows it is. Trucker was also faking a tick, and in this clip he still tries to defend it, saying he does have the tick while showing no signs of it at all. Did you lie about the tumor? Yes or no? Yes. Did you lie about the tick? Yes or no? Because yeah. you're not doing it right now. That's because I get it sometimes, it's off and off. The person who exposed Trucker also said on live that they did a background check on Trucker and that he has previous convictions of some pretty horrible things. The people he was telling this information to had some crazy reactions for good reason. And I feel like you could imagine what previous convictions they're talking about in this clip. Including Brian, and it's, it, it's already a said and done case. There's already been a federal background check run on him. He already has previous convictions of Things. The word, if you imagine you go to prison, the one thing you don't want to go to prison for. He already has a previous conviction. It's bad, Benji. It's bad. Yeah. Wow. Real bad. Whoa. Exactly what you're thinking. Exactly what I'm talking about. No, about. Exactly. that. Oh, no way. I got a crazy mind, bro. Let me mute my. Let me mute myself real quick so I can say what I want to say and not get yeah, whatever. No, no, no. It, right, it, it's a hundred percent fact. I, I, I put it on my father's grave. So Trucker was already convicted of terrible things and has scammed thousands of people, yet he still hasn't been arrested. If the information hasn't made it to the police, I'm sure it's being worked on, and I hope Trucker gets the punishment he deserves. But the next thing I want to talk about is the somewhat of an apology from Trucker that was said on live pretty much right after he got exposed. I don't really know if I would consider it an apology because it's barely audible and extremely pathetic. And this isn't something you can just apologize for. <laughs> The last thing I want to show you guys is something that's pretty heartbreaking. And it's the reaction of Jay, who is someone that's been nothing but good and supportive towards Trucker the entire time everyone thought he had autism. Which is why it's so heartbreaking to see, and Trucker even knows that he completely ruined their friendship and can't even look him in the eyes. <laughs> I was nothing but good to you. Yes, you were. I can't even look at your eyes because I... I can't hurt you. Next movie, bro. No, he's the one that I... If, if you wouldn't have got caught, we would have still been sitting here pushing you right, right now. We would have still been here. I would have got caught. I would have stopped. No, you wouldn't. Why did, I just have to know why. Why? <clears throat> you for anything. If I would have had it, I would have gave it to you. And that's everything there is to talk about when it comes to trucker Skittles. Overall, he's a disgusting and horrible person that should be in prison immediately. And the people that forgave his actions like J-Hop need to be looked into in my opinion. Which is totally something I could do, so if you guys want me to look into J-Hop a bit further, let me know and I definitely will. Or if you guys know any other people I can do a video on, please let me know because ideas are the hardest part. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.